Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week ahead. This is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to do this uh, spread as the Celtic Cross, just for this segment, and then I'll probably go back to my regular way. Um, this is for the week of, oh, what is it, the 15th through the, through the 21st? Yeah, 15th through the 21st for Aquarius. These fell out, so I got to take them. Um, three of Pentacles, working hard to accomplish something. You may be trying to prove yourself, show what you can do. I think that you are... Yeah, I think you're trying to prove yourself in some way. You may be learning new things or trying new things. You could be working with new people. You could be, um, you know, you got, we got this, that guy's got a big old pentacle in his hand. So he's working on something, working on some, some, some sort of stability, you know, some sort of security. Working on making himself more secure as well. So the challenge is coming or going, right? So you guys may be thinking about leaving a situation or, or, or not. You know, obviously, if you're thinking about it, you know, you don't know what you want to do. You either Do you stay or do you go? Right? You may have an opportunity to work with somebody else or you're working with somebody now and you're trying to prove yourself constantly to this person. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but that right now you're thinking about leaving a situation or going back to a situation. So, hmm. working hard though. You're working hard to do something. Maybe you're working hard. Maybe you're saving money to go to get out. Or to go in a different direction or something. I mean, it could go so many ways. Um, there's been some insecurities, right? There has. There's been, maybe there's financial insecurities. Maybe you're trying to build up your bank account. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's, there's lack of balance. There's lack of harmony. There's lack of peace. Maybe you're trying to regain peace and harmony and balance in your life. You may be getting frustrated, so don't get frustrated. I think that your hard work is paying off. So whatever you're doing, you're, you know, you're doing a good job. You are doing a good job. So I see that you are doing a good job. Don't give up hope. You know, this is a card of faith. It's a card of believing in yourself. This could be in regards to a commitment. Maybe you're, you know, you're on this roller coaster. You don't know whether you should stay or go. One day you want to go. One day you want to stay. I mean, this is like the roller coaster right here. We're going to go to the actual positions in a minute. I just want to get the rest of these cards laid out. Um, and I'm going to go back around as well. It looks to me like whatever you guys are, are working hard on, you're going to get something out of it. You're going to get the balance and harmony. You're going to get what you need, okay? You're going to get whatever you need out of it. It's going to turn out in your favor. So whatever's happening, you're, there's, this is the justice. This is justice being served. You be, may be making some... This is a decision, obviously. You're in the process of making a final decision. I think that you're still thinking about it. You may be thinking about... You know, what is going to bring balance and harmony to your life? Because right now things may be a little chaotic. Uh, you may um, be wanting to go a different path. You may be, you know, you may be intuitively guided to go down another path. There could be a commitment that some of you are maybe in a commitment that, you know, you're thinking about walking away from. There's There may not be a whole lot of reciprocation and you may be constantly begging or trying to prove yourself with this person, begging for attention. You could, that could be the case. Uh, I feel like, oh goodness gracious, there's lack of, of, of peace in a relationship and a commitment. I don't think there's a lot of peace here. There's lack, lack of working together. You know, I think that you want to work with somebody. I think you're looking for teamwork, right? You're sick of having to prove yourself. You want, you want to work with somebody who's actually going to work with you. You're looking for equal, uh, 
involvement here, not a one-sided situation. So I feel like right now you, you, or you have been in a situation that hasn't been equal and you may be, you know, wanting to leave that behind. I feel like, um, you're in no hurry though. I think there's a little bit of lack of confidence here. There's lack of courage, okay? With the Knight of Swords reversed, you, you, you may not have the courage to do something that you want to do. I think you got this new idea, you know, and there's this new opportunity that you're looking at. And it could bring balance to your life, but you may be a little wishy-washy about it. I feel like um, we're going to go back around and get some more cards to go with these. This is just the beginning you know, over here in, in external, you could be dealing with an individual that doesn't really, you know, put in a lot of effort. This person's lost their ambition. They've lost their drive. They're not focused. Uh, they're, they're lazy, you know. They're poor, poor, pitiful me. They may have a barely big ego, and it's driving you nuts. Okay, that could certainly be the case. Or, you know, I hate to say this, but some of you could be at this point where you don't have any fight left you know it's like you know maybe you're losing your energy maybe you're losing your desire to to even put in any more effort into this commitment whatever it is you it's either you or the other person somebody's not putting in effort somebody is like giving up the fight you know it's like they just don't even care they're lazy and complacent and I feel like um, you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Capricorn. We have Libra again. We have Sagittarius. We have Taurus. Um, I feel like, you know, you're, you just want to take back control. And if you don't, well, I'm here to tell you that you have the opportunity at this time to break free from a toxic situation some or an unhealthy situation. Some of you have been hanging on to an unhealthy situation needing to make a final decision. I see in the future you are going to make a decision. A decision is going to be made that has been weighing you down. Something really heavy has been weighing you down and it looks to me like you're about ready to drop it. The outcome is dropping this heavy weight. That could be literally weight, okay? Some of you may be deciding, you know what, this is, this is fucking up my equilibrium. I got to lose some weight for some of you. Okay, some of you are in an unhealthy situation, whether it's weight or you're with a partner or whatever it is. There is somebody here that is watching this that is in a very unhealthy situation and it's it's causing them to be overwhelmed with a point where they're they're ready to collapse. Okay, you know, it's 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 affecting them. It's affecting their health. Either way, it is affecting your health, stress, stress skills. So I feel like we have somebody here that is in the process of, you know, making a final decision that has been been weighing very very heavily on their mind in regards to what's going to bring me peace what's going to bring what's going to make me feel healthy what's going to what's going to bring me relief and i feel like you guys are in the process of of seriously making a decision you are being given divine guidance at this time so i hope you're listening to the messages your inner guide has been speaking to you through messages, through signs, through, you know, numbers, through, uh, there's no, there's no such thing as coincidence. So keep that in mind. There is really no such thing as coincidence. You are receiving messages. Really pay attention to the signs. I feel like you guys are about to make a very serious decision that has been weighing you down and it's in regards to removing yourself from an unhealthy situation that has probably stolen your energy. You know, misery loves company, so you could be dealing with a person that's miserable and they're bringing you down. I don't know. But I see that somebody's been reluctant because of, you know, fear. And But the overall outcome is that Ten of Wands, uh, next to this, and uh, you know, I see a release here. This is a release. This is taking back your power, taking back control. This is breaking free, breaking free from this burden, you know, so I think that somebody's going to make a decision to break free. But we're going to go back around again. Mm -mm. We're not going to go on this one because we know what the challenge is. Staying or going. You know, you're going to stay where you're at or you're going to leave. That's where you're at. I think that you probably, you know, are starting to realize that you deserve love. 
Maybe you're starting to nurture yourself. Maybe you're realizing that, you know, your heart matters. There could be another person, you know, that is offering you love. You could be getting an offer of love or opening your heart and offering love to another person. And I feel like there's been reluctance here. There has been reluctance here. I feel as though <clears throat> you may be dealing with a relationship or a commitment that's gone south, you know. You may not have any passion left for that situation, you know. It's like you're, you may be, you're, it's like you're constantly trying to prove yourself, but no matter what you do, you can't, relight, you, you can't rekindle that flame. Whatever it is, like the flame has been put out, it's been put out, it's been put out, it's been put out. And I think that you've tried really hard to rekindle it and it's just not working for you. Whatever it is. Um, it's like there's no growth in this situation. No matter what you do, there's, you, can't, you can't change the situation. I feel as though um, there's probably a new opportunity. You probably do have a new opportunity here, maybe for a new commitment. Um, you may, might have a new suitor that you're looking into, that you're thinking about. Um, this could be somebody that's much better suited for you. You may be thinking, you know, that that person is more exciting. That person, I have, I have a desire to be with that person. This person could be younger than you. And you feel an attraction to them. Uh, maybe you see that there's potential for commitment with somebody else. I feel like you are probably have been in a situation with somebody who was abusive. You know, and you were probably dealing with a person who was neglectful, me mentally, verbally, maybe even physically abusive. They had the they had a victim mentality, and you know they probably didn't even see the abuse, or even if they did, they didn't care. They didn't care. I think that you were dealing with somebody that was very selfish and insecure in their own insecurities you know they they projected them onto you to bring you down anyway <clears throat> you are dealing with an abusive individual who really doesn't care if they hurt you by the looks of things and i think they stole your energy you know um You may not have been logical. You may have been. You may have been abusing yourself. You know. You may have been uh, not accepting the truth of a situation. Maybe you were allowing yourself to be a victim of uh, victim of circumstances. You know. Maybe you were. Maybe you let go of your power. Maybe you were un untruthful with yourself. So some of you. You know, really need to look at things from a different perspective. Somebody's been closed off mentally and not seeing an opportunity. There's an opportunity here. And I think that somebody sees the opportunity, but they kind of pushed it aside for some reason. You know, um, lack of evolving, lack of peace, Knight of Cups reversed. Oh, goodness gracious. This is lack of patience. Lack of, well, giving up. Presently, you may not be ready for a relationship, honestly. You might not be ready for a relationship. You might not feel like you're strong enough. You may not feel like <laughs> you're, you're just not quite ready presently. I think that you're not ready to make some sort of change in your life. You may not be, you know, you may not be ready to let go either. What the hell is this? Nine of Wands reversed. This is letting go, releasing. But this is not, a, no relationship growth and not ready. Not time. Not time for a relationship because maybe you're not strong enough. Maybe you just let go of something. Maybe you've got to let go of something before you're ready for before before you're healed from this last relationship. Maybe you're not ready for a relationship right now because you're not healed from the last one. Maybe you're thinking about walking away from this one so you can get into another one, but you got to heal first. Hmm. Oh, this is making progress. Recognize you will be recognized for doing the right thing for acting for with integrity so you, some of you may be afraid some of you may be afraid of change and afraid to leave your current relationship you may feel like you're not strong enough but if you find the courage and the confidence to do so you will be 
congratulated for it. You will be respected for it. So if you're if you're fearful, you're fearful of leaving a relationship that is causing you, you know, a lack of peace and harmony and the whole nine yards. You feel like you're not strong enough. I'm here to tell you that you are strong enough. You have the ability to take charge of your life. It all starts from with it starts with your own self confidence. You've got to find that self confidence to bring balance and harmony in your life. You have to take the lead. You're the warrior here. You know, somebody has like given up on their, you know, protecting themselves. You've got to protect yourself from relationships that aren't love, that don't bring you peace. So I think that some of you are in a situation relationship that you're not feeling peace at but you don't have the confidence to move out of it so <laughs> I don't know who that is for this is a card of, of finding the confidence to take the lead to bring success to your life so presently that's where you're at you need to find the confidence to make the decision that says you know I love myself enough to go after what I deserve so you know, I feel as though you guys are in the process of making a serious decision. I don't think you're happy where you're at. A lot of you are not happy where you're at. And you probably do have another suitor or somebody that's better suited for you. And you may see it or you may not. But I do see that there's probably somebody that's better suited. Here, it's like you're taking your time. There's still lack of courage. There's lack of confidence here. There's um, you may be fearful, fearful of hidden agendas, fearful of secrets. You may be keeping to yourself right now. You may be trying to figure out the best approach. You're def there's definitely fear here. You may be going through some sort of repression because. You know you got to make a move and it's scary. So you may be going through a loss of self at the moment. But you do see a bigger, better opportunity. So I think that you know that there's a bigger, better opportunity out there. And I'm here to tell you that there is. You have a big opportunity waiting for you once you take action. You do. But you gotta, you got you to gotta face your fears, okay? And you got to open your mouth. Okay? you got to speak up. So I feel like you guys do have a, an opportunity and I think you need to go for it. I do think you need to go. You have a new solid opportunity. Oh my God. Your environment, your external, lack of confidence, lack of strength, lack of courage, lack of self-esteem, Lack of self-confidence. I think I already said that, didn't I? I don't know. I say stuff so fast. Anyway, <clears throat> it's 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 affecting your health. You are in an unhealthy situation that is affecting you negatively. It's bringing your energy, your vibration down. You have to find the courage to face your fears. Somebody is not facing their fears and you need to face your fears. Somebody's fearful of, of being alone, <clears throat> you know, or fearful of giving up their independence could go either way. Somebody does is afraid I can't make it on my own. I'm not going to have enough money. I'm going to have to give up this. I'm going to have to give up that. Blah 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 blah. You know, is fearful of losing, you know, money or their home or something monetary. Somebody or not having enough money or you know not having to live be able to live the life that you used to live. Whatever. Somebody is fearful of that. So another person here watching this is fearful of of uh, commitment. Giving up independence. So I feel like we have somebody here that... <clears throat> may not know their value as well. Oh, well, obviously. Lack of self-worth. I think I forgot that one, but here it is. And it fits right here too. Somebody doesn't know what they're worth. You shouldn't be enjoying each day, every day.
This is forward movement, communication, taking back control, restoring control, breaking free from an unhealthy, toxic situation. This is communication, a message, fast movement, getting unstuck. You may be quickly deciding that it's time to get unstuck. You may be quickly deciding that it's time to move in a new direction. Somebody's been clinging to the memories, clinging to the past. But clinging to that past, clinging to what they know, clinging, you know, staying probably, some some people are staying in this situation just for the children. Not everybody. Some are staying because of the memories, because of, or how it's going to affect even the grown-up children. Somebody's afraid of, of getting into an unrealistic situation. I'm afraid somebody's afraid to give up what they have and not get what they want elsewhere. You know what I mean? It's that fear again. It's that fear again. It's it's time to plant your seed someplace else and give it and give and give time for new growth give time for new manifestations to come in it's time but somebody is letting their fear get in the way but i think that somebody's going to take action i do with that eight of wands this is forward movement <laughs> but very fearful of not getting anything, not getting, I'm fearful of, fear, fearful of not getting reciprocation or not having growth, growth, fearful of getting attached again, perhaps, or not getting attached again. <laughs> somebody, somebody is sacrificing themselves needlessly for an unhealthy situation when they have the power to take back their life and go someplace else. I mean, that's what I see. And I see that there's just somebody that is being unrealistic about holding on to a toxic situation, whatever it is. It's like you're not being practical. Somebody's not being practical. And one of the reasons, one of the main reasons here, if you look at all these, this money, these coins in this row, is money. Now, the devil reverses, let go of ego and move forward. Let go of ego, get unstuck and move forward. Face your fears. Move forward. Let go of this past. It's unrealistic. It's time. It's time to drop it. It's too burdensome. It's too heavy. You can't carry it anymore. It's not doing anything for you. Stress kills. It's time for you to celebrate your life. It's time to be happy. Go out, let your friends help you. Go out with your friends. Have some fun. Somebody is delaying happiness. They're delaying freedom. Seriously. Not being practical. Not being wise. Not passing the test. Trying to control. Clinging to control. Ego is a big deal here. Trying to appease everybody. Got to appease everybody but myself.
it's time to let go of control and follow your heart. So I really feel like this is a week of making a decision to follow your heart. I hope that's what it is anyway. It's been a heavy decision. It's been on your mind for a while. I can see that it has. There's an opportunity for victory and success. And you will be respected. I'm telling you what. The people that truly love you will support you. Your friends, your true friends will support you. I think there's a new suitor here. Somebody sees it. Let's get a couple of these for Aquarius. Playfulness. Like I said, go have some fun. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Do it. Do it. One more card. Follow your heart. Open your heart. I feel like there's an offer of love here and you have to decide, do you want it or not? Do you want a commitment with this person? Could lead to marriage. I know that doesn't say marriage, but those people just got married. Retreat, it's time to dis disconnect from the world. Maybe it's time to take a little weekender with your person or whoever this is that we're talking about or the new person or whoever and you know talk about it oh my god i just looked on the bottom heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other yeah let, why don't you go talk about it the situation is calling for you to have faith follow your intuition trust Trust your inner guide. I think your inner guide has already told you what to do. They are, you already know. I know that you do. I know that you do. What are you waiting for? Life to pass you by? Go on a little weekender with whoever this is. Talk about it. Then, then you know, follow your heart. Follow your heart, please. If you are in a situation where you're feeling neglected or abused or whatever, don't you think it's time to go? Somebody's thinking about it. There's no passion there. But there's another opportunity for passion with somebody else. That's what I got. Good luck. <laughs>